Green syndrome, Rebecca Harlow. Derek, you did so much to help your team try to get that win at the end, but you know, coach felt that the effort was there, but that you guys didn't play as well as you could have tonight. Did you feel like things were off, that there were certain things that were off? Off Julie, do better in this one? Yeah, it's always going to be games like this where uh, you got to, I mean, when you're playing against a team that's hot like that, uh, with so many threats out there, you got to make sure you play close to like a perfect game, 48 minutes. And, um, you know, they got great players in their team and uh, they made all the right decisions towards the end. And um, we was close, but it wasn't close enough. Respect. Hey, Derek, uh, what's the message here to the ball club after a tremendous streak? Uh, tough game tonight, but going forward, as as the coach said. Uh, on to the next. Uh, we got to have amnesia. We got to have a, a sense of urgency when we go out and play, whoever we play next. Um, it's important because it's the next game. And just try, just try to get better every game, every day, and try to learn from my mistakes. You know, so uh, tonight yeah, it hurts for sure. Losing a close game like that, um, but if anything, we know that um, we could take some lessons and learn from our mistakes and just keep growing as a team. I think it's going to be for the betterment of the team. Hey, Papa. Derek, you've seen him for a long time. Um, you guys kind of held Chris in check for a lot of the game, and it looked like he hit two very well defended shots there in that last minute. Um, is that just him? Uh, um. Yeah, I mean, circus shots for sure, but um, he's been playing and doing that for so long. Um, I think everybody was surprised at the first shot they hit. I think he was even surprised, but uh, in those type of situations, um, it's kind of hard um, figuring out what to do um, when you were contesting the shot. It was just better off. Better off than... Steph Bondi. Hey, Derek, do you think your role is going to change at all when Alec Burks comes back? And, I mean, your minutes have been going up, but, uh, but do you think that might change when Alec comes back? I mean, that's something I talked about. Uh, I mean, that's all up to two. I'm not worried about that. I told you my job coming here was to see what the game needed and try to be vocal, talking to the young guys. So um, if it does change, I think that um, I'm good enough. And, um, humble enough to um, do whatever it is. Like it is not, it's not going to be a problem for me. Whatever Tiz want me to do or whatever the team want me to do, um, I'm going to go out there and do it 100. Oh. Derek, do, do you think that tonight was kind of the, the way that you think a playoff game might go for you guys just in terms of intensity and quality of competition? And, and how do you think you guys handled that, that type of style? Oh, no. Um, tonight, for sure, was a playoff atmosphere. Um, and um, the, the intensity that, that both teams show, the physicality on both sides is a playoff game. And I think not only this game, but the last couple of games that we played, even with teams then um, out or trying to fight for that attempt to eat so they could get, get a chance to play in the playing game. I think all our games has been leading up to this has been playoff games. So um, thank God we've been playing our um, best basketball towards the end. I think getting into the playoffs, you want that type of um, situation. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Thank you, Derek. Uh